if none are but better. You're too late. It's already gone. Aren't you here for his sword? I thought... Three drops of lemon balm oil, <laughs> a half pinch of powdered silver, oh, I I'm creating an alchemical concoction to reveal magically concealed writings. Uh, a mercenary was supposed to guide me further into the tomb to fight the component I'm missing. Just now, their leader summoned them away, though. She bid me stay here for my own safety. If you happen to come across cobalt moss and bring some to me, I'd be truly grateful. your next move. I am not allowed this to continue. You're mine now. Back away. Back away and you might survive this. I'll leave my blade in your guts, mongrel! <laughs> Time for a bit of a rough and tumble. Problem? At once. you yes I'll d do it
This chasm sure looks deep. Do you feel warm air coming up from below? I do. Wonder what's down there. Scatter. If none are Return to me when this is done. We've reached the catacombs. Watch your step. There are bound to be traps. I wouldn't be surprised if they're more undead, too. Tombs like this are usually full of wandering old bones. If you need some advice on dealing with undead, the Flaming Fist Healer might be able to help. She's a priestess of Lathander, and knows a lot about how to deal with restless spirits. P problem If none are but better. Ow! Shut Onward! Up! Coming for- Onward! Something to Nature's do. Serpent awaits. Mm. Right. B -b what is it? C -c can I help you? I'll d do it. Yes, dear. Yes. An open wound in Mother Earth. I if would not plug it had I the power. Me, if none are but better. Do it. 
Is it just me, or is it a little damp in here? Help you at once. Y if none are but better. Hey, yeah. How are things going? I kind of saw a note on Duke Janath's desk. It fell on the floor, and I. I just picked it up, honest. It said someone broke into the palace and took Saravok's sword. Could that be it? I don't know why Korlaz would take the sword, but if it's gone, she must have given it to someone else. Maybe we can find a record or shipping log in her chambers. We'll follow behind you. I've got your back. Damn you and all you defend! Everything was going to be different. Saravok was going to change the world. I gave everything to his cause, and you destroyed it all! So be it. Rot in a cell or rot in a crypt, it makes little enough difference. Yes. Yes, dear. Huh? I'll d do it. Hey there. Whatever you like. Me? If none are but better. You did it! I knew you would! 
I wish I could have helped you out, but my magic still needs some work. A lot of work. I suppose so. Are you ready to leave now? This place... The Flaming Fists and I are gonna head back upstairs using the rope we found. It's just south of here. It takes you right up to the entrance. We'll meet you there when you're ready to leave. <laughs> Problem. I'll open open do it in Mother Earth. I would plug it had I the power. At once. You want me? Whatever you like. What is it? Sweetheart? Whatever you like. Yes. If none are but better. Again. I guess this is it. We've done what we came to do. Time to head back to the palace for a well-earned rest, don't you think? Thank you, gods, it's done! It's over. It's finally over. Saravok's allies are all dead. Or awaiting the noose. What will you do now? I'm glad you're all right. I worry about you. Let's never find out, all right? Corlage is defeated, and the last of Saravok's influence died with her. Your foster father, Gorion, has been avenged. With the exception of your friend Imowen, those who helped you thwart your half-brother's schemes drift away from you, returning to their lives. For the first time since you left Candlekeep, you have the opportunity to reflect on the astonishing turns your life has taken. Though you are fettered by the rulers of Baldur's Gate, a sense of unease plagues you. You can't help but hear the rumors, the whispers that you share the same dark blood as Saravok. Some hint you killed your half-brother, not for the good of the city, but so you could usurp his place and his power. For the moment, however, your persecutors' voices are drowned out by an ever-growing number of others with more immediate concerns. Every day, more refugees driven from their homes by the servants of Kalar Argent arrive at the city gates. Many have stories of the Shining Lady's grace, all have tales of her followers' wrath. A ten day after Corlage's defeat, you retire to your chamber in the Ducal Palace, your thoughts troubled. You wonder what effect Kalar's crusade will have on Baldur's Gate, little knowing how close at hand the answer is.
Hey, uh, you awake? It's me, Emmeline. I don't know. That's the problem. Maybe I'm just jumpy because of what's been going on in the city. There's so many people here running from that crusade in the north. I thought I heard noises outside my room. I was worried something was happening. You're right. I know you're right. I just... Ugh, I don't know. Hells. I just feel silly. Wait, there it is again. Did you hear that? I'm gonna go check it out. What now, I wonder? Done and done. To now. A simple task. Something's happening. There are people here. Help me. Uh. Keep back. I'm warning you. Come any closer and I'll. I'll. Cut her down. Yes. Uh. The hero is here. Uh. Take them. Are you here? The palace is under attack and... Oh, hells. I'll have you dead! Oh. You all right? Forgive me. I'm Shale Corwin, Captain, Flaming Fist. Enemy forces penetrated the palace. I tried to reach you before they did, but... Well... I wish I knew. Duke Eltan has people trying to assemble the Council of Four in the main hall. You may want to join them once your friend's been taken care of. Of course, if it is. Imran, are you here, girl? She is here, Grand Duke Janath. But she needs help. Let me see her. Fenster and the other healers are dealing with the wounded downstairs. I've some knowledge of the healing arts and a few potions. Perhaps I can be of assistance. The assassin's blades are coated with a mystic poison, but I believe I can save her. The best thing you can do right now is accompany Captain Corwin downstairs and ensure the palace is secure. Of course, my lady. I'll give you a moment to recover yourself and await you on the second floor. What now I want done and done. To arm. There are more assassins about. Is that all of them? The council will want to know you're all right. We should get downstairs. Let's go. Let us begin. You know your host, Duke Belt, and Grand Dukes Eltan and Entar Silvershield, I believe. What do you know of the so-called Shining Lady, Kalar Argent? I examined the body of one of the assassins. A sun cresting the horizon was branded upon his forearm. A symbol of Kalar Argent and her cursed crusade. They were. Something has changed. The Crusade has disrupted trade all along the Sword Coast. Hundreds, thousands have been driven from their homes, their fields and storehouses ransacked. Some weeks ago, we dispatched a hundred Flaming Fists to join with soldiers of Waterdeep and Daggerford and march on Kalar's stronghold, Dragonspear Castle. Uh, it won't be enough. The Crusade's ranks have swelled. 
After the iron crisis, the fists are already stretched perilously thin. Even so, we're sending every sword we can muster north. Excellent. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. There is one other thing you should know. I took this parchment from one of the assassin's bodies. It's a passable likeness of you. I'm sure you'll agree. You need not go alone. The fist shall back you, and more as well, if you wish. I know the whereabouts of your old allies, some of them anyway. The captain here can escort you to them. Spoken like someone who barely knows me, but I'll take what compliments I can get and do what I can not to change your mind. When you're ready to leave, go to the palace's main doors. I'll await you there. You're doing Baldur's Gate a great service. We'll not forget it. Done and done. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Where to now? The Flaming Fist is trying to keep the peace, Don't but it's an uphill battle. Done. Of course, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You! You are the one who delivered me to this hell! I was surprised when I was taken to the palace and not to the jail. Now I know it was so the dukes could torment me in private. Did you think I'd be treated fairly? Justly? I expected no. You're nothing more than I expected. Pathetic. Now let us finish this. Done and 
dawn. What now are we done and done? Well, of course, <laughs> yeah. Where to now? Well, of course, <laughs> yeah. Yes, a simple task. What? No, of course, <laughs> yeah. Where to now? A simple task. The three old kegs isn't far from here. There's a pair of Rashemi travelers staying there. Duke Eltan thought you might speak with them. A simple task. I'll await you here until you're ready to go. Of course, <laughs> yeah. Done and done. Well, of course, <laughs> yeah. What is it, Bo? I've never seen you so. Ah, can it be? Is this the hero of Baldur's Gate I see? Only a madman would not recognize the Slayer of Saravok. Isn't that right, Bo? Oh, forgive me. I am Minsk, and this is Boo. Boo is a miniature giant space hamster. Then do as the cats do to Boo when they think he is not looking and follow. Dine here. Someone would like to speak with you. No more, my friend. I've enjoyed debating your hamster on the finer points of... Uh... Oh, who is this? Wait, I know thee. Yes? Thou wouldst face the Shining Lady, then? I know of this woman. There are those who believe her to be a daughter of the Divine, perhaps even a child of Baal. She merits further investigation, and is the reason I still linger in the region. Thine offer is accepted. Minsk and I will travel north with thee. And with Bo. Of course. You would be lost without thy hamster. Prepare yourself, Bo. We are about to embark on another epic adventure! Yes? Boo is beginning to worry. What some of these people do is not so good. 
quote, ma. A simple task. Done and done. A simple task. What have we here? And this is Boo. Say hello, Boo. <laughs> Where to now? A simple task. Yes, done and done. We aren't far from the Elfsong Tavern. A few people you might want to speak with, Safana, Koran, and the Bard Garrick, have been seen there recently. Or if you'd like to get some supplies for the journey to Dragonspear, we can go to Sorceress Sundries. What now, I wonder? Done and done. Elf Song Tavern. A little pretentious for my taste. I'll wait for you here. Whoa! Like Don and Whoa. Don. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, man. Are you... I mean, I know it's a tavern, but who... Ah! Whoa! Sorry. That one came right up. No, man. I just didn't, you know, expect to, like, see you later, man. Ah! Whoa. You are welcome in my sight. Now. Don't yes, answer. sir. I am at your service. Dost thou believe her a god spawn? Could she be a child of Baal? Life is glorious. Dost thou believe her a god spawn? Could she be a child of Baal? Yes. Done and done. You are welcome in my sight. 
out! Don't Get out, you don't. vile poxy snake! Now that I am looking at him, I am not so sure that's true. This elf has the air of a scoundrel about him. Boo does not like scoundrels. I do not like scoundrels either. Damn you to all nine hells, Koran. I... It is rare for this one to have a bad day, I think. It's been less than pleasant thus far, but it's improving by the second. Come in. Come in. Make yourself comfortable. What brings you to my door? We? Or you? I could never say no to you. Then again, I can't think of a single thing you could ask that would make me want to. What now? Of course. <laughs> yeah. A simple task. Speak to me, visions. Like, totally guide me. Come, let us take our leave of this love-struck dullard. Or better still, let's bide a time and see him struck by something less abstract in nature. Like a frying pan. Where to now? Of course, <laughs> yeah. You've a fair number of friends, but we should head back to the Ducal Palace. You need to get some rest before we head out in the morning. Yes, of course, <laughs> yeah. We're almost to Flaming Fist headquarters. There's a cleric being held there Duke Eltan thinks you might want to speak to. Though why anyone would want to talk to a madman like Tiax is beyond me. Of course, <laughs> yeah. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Oh, you've brought me to a jail. Don't you have the soul of a romantic. What now, I wonder? A simple task. Who dares prod TX? wants to go Betty by. That's adorable. Where to now? Of course, <laughs> yeah.
must gather your party before venturing forth. Yes, a simple task. Uh, uh, I think I, I have too much to drink. What now? Of course. <laughs> yeah. Simple task. Where to now? Of you course, must gather your party you. before venturing forth. Yes. Of course, <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll see you on the morrow. Word is your friend Imoen's mostly recovered from the Crusader poison, if you want to speak with her. Just remember, once you go up to your room, I'll leave to begin preparing for the journey. You won't get another chance to head out into the city. Simple task. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Of course, <laughs> yeah. I need to speak with thee. I am growing concerned with things thou hast done and others thou hast allowed. There is a line twixt good and evil, and thou? Art perilously close to crossing it. So this is the Slayer of Saravok, the hero of Baldur's Gate. How pleased I am to make your acquaintance. If it is security you desire, it would be prudent to reconsider your sleeping arrangements. Hmm. Strange. There lies within you barely a spark of divine consciousness, yet you bested your brother in blood. How? What is it that drove you to victory where so many others fell in defeat? Gorion. His death was the first step of your current journey, was it not? I wonder what wisdom did he impart that left such an impression? Interesting. We will see if that is enough to bear you through the trials ahead. You do not see it yet, but another crossroads in your journey lies before you. One you will reach sooner than you think. The path you choose is of interest to me. Your path could lead in many directions. You waver, unsure whether to claim credit for your deeds or to brush them aside. I can offer you clarity. But we can speak more of this in time when I am certain that you are the one I seek. Suffice it to say that I am a man who has lost much, but would regain some measure of what was taken from me. That is all you need know. I am not here to act, not yet. I am here to evaluate. Are you worthy? Is what you carry within enough? Are you strong enough to overcome the challenges you shall soon face? Only the passage of time will provide us answers. I am curious to see how this plays out. I will be watching. I... Oh, you're back. Sorry if I don't seem excited to see you. Poison real. Oh, I've been in worse shape. You know the kind of scrapes I get into. But never mind that for the moment. We need to talk about you going to Dragonspear Castle. 
Don't do it. Don't go. I'm healing. But you need to heal too. Not just from fighting Saravok. Those are just cuts and scars. But in coming to terms with, you know, what you are. Let someone else take care of the Shining Lady. Please. I knew you'd say that. I'm... I'm sorry. I can't go with you. You're the closest thing I have to family. I love you. You know that. But after Saravok, I need things to be... quiet. Just for a little while. I'll be back on my feet soon. I'm sure of it. I'm the one who ran away from Candlekeep to help you out, remember? I just need a little more time to rest and promise me you'll be careful, all right? I don't know what I'd do if... We've just lost too many people, you know? I'm gonna leave now. Take care of yourself. Right? You can't tell Daddy, Duke Silvershield, about this. I've joined the Flaming Fist! Oh no, 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 no. Daddy would never permit it. I joined under a false name. Life as a noble is boring and stupid. I want to do something great with my life and also get out of this dirty old city and maybe meet some handsome soldiers. So, I'm going north with you. I know! All right, go back to sleep. I'll see you in... Oh, I guess you don't really have time to sleep now. I'll see you soon. Remember, whatever you do, don't tell Daddy about this. This isn't how I like to attract attention. Where to now? Done and done. I A simple task. Of course, <laughs> you. Our prayers and hopes go with you. With your the Fleming Fist travels with you under the command of Captain Corwin and Corporal Duncan. I'm sorry that Duke Elton could not be present, but the ongoing crisis has called his attention elsewhere. Is there anything else you need before you depart? Is there anything else? May the gods look upon you with favor. You'd better get moving, unless there was something else. Speak with Captain Corwin by the main doors, and be on your guard. The trip north yes. will likely hold of dangerous course. beside <laughs> the crusade. What now? Done and done. So this is the great Fildurkin hero of Baldur's Gate, eh? Doesn't look like much to me. Just one. It feels like more than that sometimes. This is my daughter, Roma. They'll do what they have to. Exactly like that. Oh, I like this little one. That's right. Now give me a hug, Roma, and go to your grandfather. Mama's gotta get going. Look at all... There you are. The caravans at the palace gate. They're ready to head to Dragonspear if you are.
Captain Shale Corwin and her aide, Corporal Bence Duncan, maintain order in the caravan from Baldur's Gate. Some who joined the expedition are unaccustomed to flaming fist discipline. Hard lessons are learned in the early days of the march north. The journey is slowed by the Crusade's victims. A multitude of broken, haunted men and women clog the coast way. When asked, they speak of fields set aflame, granaries ransacked, and family conscripted by the Crusade. Yet many characterize these hardships as necessary sacrifices in pursuit of a greater good. A strange acceptance, even admiration of Kalar Argent is disconcertingly common in those she has wronged. Some proclaim the Shining Lady a prophet, doing the work of not one but all faiths, all gods. Is it possible Kalar Argent's cause is a righteous one? Or is she engaged in a great deception to further her own agenda, as Saravak once did? And what of your goals? Many souls were lost during the Dragon Spear Wars. I will see justice done and restore them to the light. Yes, quite honorable. But what makes you think yourself capable of achieving this, Kayla Argent? You dare befoul my person with your magics? Blood is something to behold not fear. Your divine heritage radiates from you. From which of your parents, mother or father? Enough of these games and enough of your questions. Heffernan, get this mage out of my sight. At once, my lady. We will have words about this, scarred one. Perhaps. I'll just take you don't that. want to upset a pretty lady, do you? Then shape up. Of course, <laughs> you. Where to now? Done and done. Minsk is not feeling the camaraderie of old. This group goes sour. For the last time, this is not the behavior I expect from the look to mine example. Thy called. Whatever thy wills. A simple task. Hmm? What? Hmm? What? Oh, uh, hello. Yes, 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 you are, aren't you? That's fantastic. My name. Oh, right, right, my name. I'm Glint. Glint, Three Eyes Gardner Simpson. Pleased to meet you. I am a cleric of Barvar Cloak Shadow. May I have a minute to talk to you? Uh, all right. Uh, yes. Join you. I can do that. What now, I wonder? Of course. I am Zena, <laughs> faithful of Tempus. Praise be to the Lord of Battles. This and that to be done, no time to stay and chatter. Oh there. 
You are the hero. I am Rafus Goodtree. It is an honor to meet you. And it will be a greater honor still to fight the Shining Lady at your side. How may I be of service? Little. She's said to be an inspiring leader. Many flock to her cause and serve her fiercely. Some claim her closest advisor is a priest who calls himself the revered brother Heffernan. He claims to serve not one- One of her goals is to see you dead. Do the others really- ma Better to know thy enemy than die in ignorance. What are you looking at? I don't like being looked at in general. Or Is there something you want? said all he can stand. He can stand no more. What you do is wrong. It is evil. That's it. Boo. I, is had it I warned thee. I told thee what would happen if thou continued down this dark path. But thou wouldn't listen. And now I have no choice but to leave. Yes, what dost thou wish of me? Yes, don't. I shall play no oh, further role in their machinations. Fare thee well. Camp set. Watch us too. We've been marching hard, covered a lot of ground, but we've still a ways to go. Everyone could use a rest, yourself included. Where to Tonight now? might be the last full night's sleep we get. We'll be in Crusader territory after we cross the bridge. 